Well, I'm Hellman, and I'm Shredder. This is Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the movie Red State, the Kevin Smith horror movie about a religious cult that captures those who they believe are sinners and executes them on there in the ranch. And yeah, because execution is not a sin, according yeah. to them. Yeah, justifiable Which, homicide. Uh, do you think the movie was realistic? Um, do I think there's cults like that out there? It could be. Well, they weren't a cult, they were just a church, weren't they? Yeah. Isn't that the definition of a cult? Oh, a church? Yeah. So well, a lot I mean, of people are a member well, of the cults. Their, their church was like a cult, pretty much. So it was based on uh, Fred Phelps, the real cultist that kind of inspired that story. His church protests military funerals, specifically the ones that they think were okay. Yeah, it kind of had a, a Waco, uh, David yeah, Koresh I'm, tinge in it, too. Aspect to it at the end. I thought it was a good movie. I thought... Um, uh, you couldn't predict what was uh, going yeah, to happen that's, next. That's what I, said, um, I like I like that about movies. It um, kind of started out as a routine teen horror movie where the teens go out on this little sex adventure and then they get you know kidnapped and tortured kind of. But then it kind of kept making new turns after that. Yeah, it did have a lot of cliches too, like the the, beginning the cop would. getting a Hummer oh, in yeah. the car. Um, that's the one part of the movie I didn't like is that. They sat up twice, you know, when they first um, hit their car, they sat up, and then when they were walking back to the car, they were down again. So I guess two guys giving each other head, the messages won't break for anything, pretty much. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they, like, they broke for a second when the car got hit, and then they went right back to <laughs> giving each other head, I guess. The kids getting drugged at the trailer. I, I could see that happening, but it was a little bit strange. With the beers, that's kind of yeah. became a cliche a little bit, I think. Yeah. They kind of used that cliche in the kill list. Uh, the kill list, I think, created <laughs> that drug cliche. Beer. <laughs> you think yeah. so? Everyone yeah. copied it? I think so. I think Kevin Smith is a fan of, of mine. Apparently, he's a big fan of Mark Donnell. Yeah. Kind of rips off his material. The very end was awesome. I like how it ended. It was justified and needed, but it was kind of funny, too. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, there was a different ending that was supposed to be filmed, and he didn't have the budget to do it. Yeah, it would have been sweet, too, if James and Bob came in there. We thought of the perfect cameo for them, but we're not going to give it away, because then that would give yeah. away the ending. But Yeah, yeah. I'm that gonna, was the I'm ending that they wanted to do. They just couldn't afford those guys. <laughs> they couldn't afford, couldn't afford Jason Mewes back again. He, well, I th thought long and hard about this, and um, and I, uh, I give it a four and a half out of six stars. Um, once again, uh, a little bit of nudity would have been five out of six. Um, yeah. But uh, four and a half, it was a solid movie. I give it five. I, it's my favorite movie this year. So, yeah, it didn't come out in theaters because uh, Kevin Smith got in a huge fight with his old producing buddy, Harvey Weinstein, and then he had an auction for the movie and ended up buying it for himself for 20 bucks and pissed off everyone that came to the auction. People say he's kind of self-imploded and gone a little bit crazy. What do you think? <laughs> well, I heard about... I think he's so I think it was a Southwest rebel, Airlines. Where rebel filmmaker. He was <laughs> so... Fat. Fatty. He had to buy a second ticket or something. No, he got kicked off. Oh, he, he got was kicked a safety off. Hazard. He was so fat. That's discrimination. He's not he, that fat. So instead of imploding, maybe he <laughs> exploded. Maybe he should implode a little How bit. How fat is he? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently. Was it Southwest Airlines that it kicked him off? I don't remember which airline, but he was so pissed about that. He was tweeting about it all day. Well, yeah, I'd be pissed too if I was trying to go fly from point A to point B and they're like, oh, Someone no. says you're too fat, you're a safety hazard. You're yet. too fat. I'd be like, well, do, can I fit into my jeans? You know, I mean. <laughs> but I kind of like the um, punk rock filmmaker image he's done by kind of rebelling against the system and distributing himself. He he cited Mel Gibson as his inspiration with The Passion of the Christ. It's obviously the most successful self-distributed movie of all time. I also like how Kevin Smith is really fascinated by religion and growing up Catholic, he always explores that topic. and. Well, I, grew, you, I grew up Catholic, so it's always interesting to me. To you also said his brother was his brother's on. gay, yeah. and, and that he was the inspiration for this film. Oh, but yeah. it makes you wonder about you know religion in general, mm -hmm. um, how people become fanatical. Oh yeah, and you know all religions, and uh, and then they get, they take it over the top, mm -hmm. the Wacos and the Rajneesh Param and the Phelps and whatever else. Once a uh, religion starts getting involved in other people's business and they're get, going too far, I think. As long as they keep to themselves, they're fine, but if they try, start telling people what they can and can't do, then 
That's and the good. government. That's when you're taking religion too far, I think. Yeah. So would you ever go with two of your buddies on a Craigslist sexual adventure? I don't know. <laughs> I've never thought about it really. Now would you think about doing it after seeing the movie? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Be a little more prepared. I've been, I've been to bring the, your own beer. I've been to a whole ranch and um Reno with friends. Oh yeah? It was kinda interesting. We walked in and they had all the prostitutes standing in a line and we goofed them all. Were they by their name or did they have and a number? And we were kinda scared to go in and they called out to us, Hey you guys coming in? The ladies or one of the, madam one of the ladies. I think it was one of the Was a madam out there? There was a madam there that eventually kicked us all out because we weren't buying anything. Ah. And well, she, you don't really buy anything. Do you, is, don't you just rent it? Well, she said this is a whorehouse with the convenience of a bar, not a bar with the convenience of a whorehouse. Oh, okay. So she said you can't just buy drinks all day. you got to get something out of the leave. Well, were the yeah. girls just like all like uh, sleezing up on you and everything? Oh, yeah. The ones that probably charged less, I think they hung around, and the more high-end ones kind of left. Right away. They were just like, once, yeah, these once guys. they got to look at us. <laughs> yeah, they got to... So you were getting like the, I went on a tour the Walmart back girl or, um, with one of the girls. Yeah. Where she tried to talk me into getting a Was text. it her bedroom? I'd get a text back later. No, it was just the bedroom of the of the brothel, I'm sure. I don't think any of them lived there. And there was a big sign Jesse Ventura up to. Oh yeah? Up front. Governor nice. Jesse Ventura. Wow. This was back in two thousand two or something. What what like place that. was it? I think it's Bunny Ranch one of the ones they have a show of now I heard. Did you ever, Dynamo from the Howard Stern show was there. She was she was one of the ones that hung out with him. I don't know. Was she hot? Yeah. For, for well, how were they dressed? Were they wearing like bikinis or like lingerie? Or just like, I don't know. Are they dressed dresses. up like nurses? No, nah, just dresses. Like, uh, Forty dresses. Forty dresses. <laughs> they were just like sluts. Then, yeah, yeah. If they weren't whores, that would be offensive, I think. Yeah. But if they were whores. Yeah.